No smoke billows out when you use your computer, nor do your fingers turn greasy. But this doesn't mean the internet does not pollute the environment. It does, only silently. Whatever task you perform online, from shopping to sending emails, needs digital infrastructure to support it. This is facilitated by data centers and vast servers spread across the world. Did you know that Northern Virginia in the United States has the highest concentration of data centers? These data centers are powered by electricity generated through fossil fuels. They need almost 200 terawatt hours of electricity every year, which is half the electricity used for transport nationwide. As internet adoption grows around the world, this electricity usage is only going to increase. Most of us assume that moving digital is a solution to pollution, but turns out it's not as efficient as it seems. It is, in fact, a problem far tougher to solve because it is an invisible and counterintuitive form of pollution. Studies have now started quantifying it too. In 2018, online video streaming produced emissions equivalent to Spain, and that amount may double in the next six years. The carbon footprint of the internet, the digital infrastructure, and each of our devices is 3.7% of global greenhouse emissions. This is similar to the global airline industry and is predicted to double by 2025. So what can be done? Most internet streaming giants have doubled up on their renewable energy commitments. They have promised to replace the electricity generated by fossil fuels with 100% renewable energy from solar and wind. Dominion Energy, for instance, which powers the Northern Virginia data centers, has committed to power 100% of its operations with renewable energy by 2025, but has only reached 32% of that goal so far. Many such 100% renewable plans are in the making, but their implementation is slow and marred with conflicts around tariffs and questions about whether the energy is really 100% clean. Until then, the internet will continue to harm the environment, one click at a time.